more steady. It needs to build on what's already existing in Scarborough. So if there are already people who are interested in this and see areas that, that transit can be improved that is different from downtown Toronto, because they're very different places and their needs are very different, um, those initiatives need to be um, you know, intertwined and enmeshed. Um, so civic engagement needs to be steady. So any groups coming from downtown, I encourage you to stay in Scarborough, work in Scarborough for a little bit, build networks, and actually try to be a steady force there. It'll be more meaningful and you'll get more out of it. The second thing is there's a need for more bridges between people downtown and people in Scarborough who are working on these issues. As I said, I'm only one person. And I think there's actually a lot more ways that we can build bridges um, between the initiatives downtown and the initiatives in Scarborough. The third thing is that outreach and campaigning looks and, it, and is very different in Scarborough than it is downtown. It can't look the same. The area is, is much, much, much bigger. Um, the communities are much well, much more diverse, but there's also a lot more, not necessary, so a lot more um, languages spoken um, as the home language. And we need to take that into account when we're dealing with uh, Scarborough and actually outreach to Scarborough. The fourth is that discussions are vital in all languages. Just because a discussion happens in a language that's not in English does not mean that it's not a valuable conversation to be had and that they're not adding to the conversation. Um, and this is something that we really need to focus on in Scarborough, and we haven't done enough of um, Scan hasn't done enough of that. So if any of you speak other languages, please come and translate. Um, the fifth thing is more civic literacy courses are needed to educate communities. We assume that uh, civic literacy will be learned and civic involvement will uh, start once immigrants settle into communities. This doesn't always happen. Um, we need better civic literacy programs and um, we need to, to cultivate the civic, civic culture in Canada within communities that are newcomers or immigrant communities. Um, leaders in Scarborough have to be supported in their communities and in their languages. We can't bring, well we should, we should try to bring more leadership programs to Scarborough rather than having all of the people in Scarborough come down to town. This is problematic because people won't really come. And those that come are the same people who will always come. So we need to start thinking about the city as actually the entire city of Toronto, including places like Starbucks, and not just um, having everything downtown, right, physically. Um, the last point is that, uh, is the point that I made before, about yeah, integrating people into the Canadian civic world. Yeah, we need to talk about a different approach to civic engagement, and we need to recognize that. I work on a project called the Civic Awareness Project, which is a 10 week course for immigrants. Um, some have been here for three months, some have been here for three years. And essentially, what the course is, is um, to teach them about how the government runs, what it does, um, and then how what kinds of campaigns are happening and how they're making uh, inroads in, in their various. Um, communities. And so far, we've been going for a year, we've had 150 people graduate, and they have felt that they um, that this project has fostered inclusion and welcomed them into the political culture in Canada. So it's been very successful. Okay, this is the last point, is that um, we also do a project called the Growth Project. This project supports grassroots projects and community groups um, by providing them with um, workshops. It's essentially a, growth, it's a workshop series. Workshops on everything from budgets to media to grant writing, etc., etc., etc. And we also do a one-on-one -on -one consulting. We try to link people with mentors or experts if we can't provide support. Um, uh, so I'm going to skip through this. So I'm going to end soon. Okay. Um, so essentially what we're trying to do is increase capacity to affect change um, by working with leaders in communities that are running grassroots projects. Um, but we want to do it in Scarborough. We don't want to do it downtown. We want to do it in Scarborough. We feel like that's very important. We need experts um, in Scarborough as well as in town um, who are working on these areas. And because Scarborough is very specific um, in, in particular ways and outreach and all that stuff, um, 
it's, it's important to have um, those kinds of experts come from Scarborough to um, pass on their knowledge and skills to these grassroots groups. So the lessons learned. More support is required to properly develop sustainable projects in Scarborough, and that needs to be happening in Scarborough. Um, there's also a need for capacity building support to be hands-on and ongoing. One workshop, as we know, won't cut it. You need to actually work with people and develop their skills one-on-one -on -one, um, and on an ongoing basis. We also need to foster leadership and mentor uh, mentoring practices in Scarborough. So there's a lot of uh, leadership uh, uh, conferences and workshops that are being done. Um, and, and it's not only that people in Scarborough are, uh, it's not only that they're downtown and not in Scarborough, but it's also that people in Scarborough aren't necessarily invited to these conferences and um, to these mentoring opportunities. They're not even necessarily invited. We don't really know about them. Um, so that's it. I'm going to skip through this. So uh, the last point I want to make is that um, there's a lot of people who know what they were doing in Scarborough, and they moved downtown to work on issues downtown. There's brain drain from Scarborough to downtown Toronto. Um, and I don't think this is something we often point out or are aware of, but um, I, it's interesting to me that a lot of the people that I meet who are working on community development and who are from Scarborough are no longer working in Scarborough. So I encourage people who are from Scarborough to go back to Scarborough as much as possible and pass on your knowledge to people that are working there. With that, I'm going to pass it over to Butterfly Communities. Uh, they're a grassroots group that works in Warnath Court, and um, this is about exploring capacity for one-on-one.